two emerald tablets of tough. It is part four of a 134 part series. I'm just kidding. I don't really know. Uh, but whatever it is, it is time to get rolling on emerald tablet 11 part four. Technically part three was just a 25 seconds or something because it didn't fit all of it. But so, and I'm going to go over some of the stuff from part two. It, we didn't really interpret so much as we did because Jimmy is just learning a little bit. So he's excited. He wants to get to it. He wants to see what the heck. I mean, he's not, you know, you don't, you're not going to be sold on it right away and try to say, hey, let's interpret every line. So, okay. Well, so I think we're around um, page 79 in the Book of Dorietta there. As you can see, it's freaking burned for some reason because, yeah, smoking and stuff. But that's why you don't smoke around books. But it's very interesting because you got it on the Lord Pyramid. No. And then, it kind of smudges on time and no again. And then kind of are they. No are they time. No are they time. No are they time. Lord Pyramid. Okay, anyway, all right. <clears throat> Moving on. The consciousness below thee is ever expanding in different ways from those known to thee. A, though in space time below thee, is ever growing in ways that are different from those that were part of the ways of thine own. Four, know that it grows as a result of thy growth, but in not the same way thou dis, dis grow. The growth that thou had and have in the present, have brought into being a cause and effect. No conscious follows the path of those before it, else all would be repetition and vain. Each consciousness in the cycle it exists in follows its own path to the ultimate goal. Each plays its part in the plan of the cosmos. Each plays its part in the ultimate end. The farther the cycle, the greater its knowledge and ability to blend the law of the whole. I originally thought it was bend the law of the whole, but whew, it's blend. Blend. So you got to mix the law. So you can change the law a little bit. You can't change it totally. Apparently. You got to blend it. Blend that. I was going to say shit. I don't think I swore on this so far. So that's the first one and the only one. Okay, I, maybe I did. I don't know. Um, okay, let's whoa, whoa, whoa. So this is a pretty important, you know, just explains how the cycles kind of go. The consciousness below thee is ever expanding in different ways from those known to thee. A, though, in space time below thee is ever growing in ways that are different from those that were part of the ways of thine own. Is ever growing in ways that are different from those. Yeah, like we all have um, parts of everything, kind of. And I think that's what it's saying. For know that it grows as a result of thy growth. Ah, because the more we experience, the more we can be, more we can be like everyone else, like, um, absorb those kind of, um, energies kind of, or, um, oh, let's see, more knowledge, for, no, but not in the same way thou didst grow, yeah. The growth thou had and have in the present have brought into being a cause and effect. So whatever you do now, obviously, is cause and effect. Some of this is, you know, relatively simple, but you may have a different interpretation of what this is. And that's perfectly fine. Like I said before, that's good.
If you disagree, then, well, you don't see it that way. Fine. That's the way I see it. So leave me alone. Just kidding. I love you all. Or I'm trying to. I'm trying to learn how, how to love you all. So, um, <laughs> with all the madness in the world. Look at Oh, jeez. I was going to start a, in a space time below the. So it was in, in the same time, space time below. Time and space below the. It's just a different dimension. It's kind of hard to comprehend, but if you've, if it's in a space time below these, ever growing in ways that are different from those, like they're, they're still learning those energies from no, it, it grows as a result of that growth. It does grow. And the closer that we, and the farther we grow, the ability that we are able to be in harmony with the universe. The growth that thou had and have in the present have brought into being a cause and effect. No consciousness follows the path of those before it, else it all would be repetition and vain. So that that's something I remembered. Like, I, I always thought it was in vain, but now I see it's and vain. Because, I mean, I've read the Emerald Tablets, but, you know, like, your mind tricks you sometimes. You know, if you don't actually sit down and, you know, think about it. And hopefully, it, that's awesome if you have the mind to process really fast. And maybe in the future... If you are a loving being of pure light, you can do it. I believe in you. Yeah, I believe in you. Oh, your screen froze for a second. Me too. Okay, did I already do that before? Maybe. Okay. Um. No cry. I'll see. No conscious false pulse. We all. Even if it's slight difference, even if it's the most microscopic one to the trillion, 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 trillion power of, of a difference out of everything done and thought and experienced in the universe, this being is a different being. We are all different, but we are all very, very alike. And that's the idea is to um, find and experience things until until we were until we were able to believe that we are all light beings whether whether or not they're lower dimensional beings that are working at the lower realms they they all have their place apparently but so it's not like you you know Oh, you're a lower dimensional being. Get out of here. Well, if it comes up in this realm, it's not prejudice. It's it's that um, how is, say, if a seventh dimensional being and then a sixth dimensional being comes up to the seventh um, and that gets, you know, there's what, what if there's a lot of them end up and then it would eventually possibly um, be like a 6.5 dimension and then it would put a lot of stress on the sevens where I think it put stress on the freaking lower because it does freak people out when you get into this kind of stuff so isn't that great each consciousness in the cycle it exists in follows its own path to the ultimate goal each plays its part in the plan of the cosmos each plays its part in the ultimate end. The farther the cycle, the greater its knowledge and ability to blend the law of the whole. So you may not be able to move stuff with your mind in this reality, but you can blend it. So, you know, you maybe can absorb the energies of such things. All right, let's be able to lift the rock. 
It's really heavy. And who, um, being outside of the universe, uh, would you, would they look at the fact that a machine was the one that lifted the rock within a certain, not even time, because they wouldn't even interpret time, but just look at the part of, um, <clears throat> so you'll be able to blend the law. Again, I thought it was bend the law, which is kind of... But there's got to be a reason. There might be a numerological reason why instead of bending the law is blending. Because you're not bending the actual law, you're actually blending the law. Mixing the law, mixing the law, challenging the law. I, I think that's important. So, I mean, we all kind of get it, probably, like what blend the law is, and you know, but really think about it. Know ye that ye and the cycles below us are working the minor parts of the law, while we of the cycle that extends to infinity. Take of thy striving and build greater law. Greater law. Know ye that ye and the cycles below us are working the minor parts of the law. And that's what I was kind of talking about, but because of this, I have to give credit to um, this book of, because I've already, you know, read this and kind of thought about it, like the minor parts of the law, so minor parts of the dimensions and all that stuff. So what I said earlier came from this book. So um, just saying it's not my own. It, it, this helped me. This this just got me to think about that kind of thing. So, yippee. As you can see, I always try to, I don't know. I don't, I, how, how do we, how do we, how do we make the Emerald Tablets at top as fun as possible to make people of all ages into the Emerald Tablets of Toth. But we can't make them. I guess it's got to be their choice. Okay. Um, no, you in the sex below us. While we of the cycle that extends to infinity takes of thy striving and build greater law. We of the cycle, this cycle, for example, that extends to infinity take of thy striving like trying over there and build greater law. Build greater, the greater its knowledge and ability to blend the law of the whole. The farther the cycle, the greater in its knowledge and ability to blend the law of the whole. So therefore, um, the greater the knowledge, the more you can blend the law. So take that into consideration, extends to infinity and, and build greater law. Like a greater place that is going to be from the heart, more than likely I have a feeling or whatever that means to you, of the heart of the greatest. And, you know, I used to think heart is just a heart now. Like, why do people say I heart you, you know? But the aura of hearts, um, you know, your heart is apparently supposed to be like five times as great as any other sh chakra. And so, yeah, probably depends on the person, right? <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Those are working on minor parts of the law. Well, we have the cycle that extends to infinity of striving. Build great um, law. Okay. Each has his own part to play in the cycles. Each has his work to complete in his way. The cycle below thee is yet not below thee, but only formed for a need that exists. For know ye that the fountain of wisdom that sends forth the cycles is eternally 
seeking new powers to gain. Ye know that knowledge is gained only by practice, and wisdom comes forth only from knowledge. And thus are the cycles created by law. Means are they for the gaining of knowledge, for the plane of law that is the source of the all. The cycle below is not truly below, but only different in space and in time. The consciousness there is working and testing lesser things than those ye are. And know just as ye are working on greater, so above ye are those who are also working as ye are on yet other laws. The difference that exists between the cycles is only in ability to work with the law. We who have being in cycles beyond thee are those who first came forth from the source and have in the passage through time space gained ability to use laws of the greater that are far beyond the conception of man nothing there is that is really below thee but only a different operation of law Whew. Each has his own work to complete. He, below thee is yet not below thee, but only form for a need that exists. So there's some kind of need in the experiencing, probably everything interchanging, like and colliding into each other, like parallel. Like you need this in order to send other vibrations, just as well as everything else. Um, vibrations because just like all the stars aligned affecting the energy on the earth um, no matter freaking what you know there's there's certain energy waves and photons in the air I don't know what to call them that affects your neurons and your heart and your brain um, I just recently found out there's neurons in your heart I, I didn't know that um <clears throat> For know ye that the fountain of wisdom that sends forth the cycles. Is eternally seeking new powers to gain. Hey, it's all about power. Dang it. No, I'm just kidding. Hopefully good powers. Ye know that knowledge is gained only by practice. You gotta practice what you preach. Like me doing the Emerald Tablets of Toth, I'm practicing. And wisdom comes forth only from knowledge. That's beautiful. Like the more you know, then you can use you can use that knowledge, practice that, and you become wise. And thus are the cycles created by law. So what did I say? Wisdom. Wisdom. Equals, thus are the cycles created. So basically, and I kind of got this from this too, but um, there's going to be a never ending amount of cycles. I think, from, unless he says otherwise later. <laughs> then maybe not. Thus are the cycles created by law. Means are they for gaining of knowledge for the plane of law that is the source of the all. Whew. Jesus lost. Woo. Means are they for the gaining of knowledge means means to an end 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 means are they for the gaining of knowledge satisfactory or 
for the plain satisfied, for the plain of law that is the source of the all. So go towards the plain of law, blend it. <laughs> But you need to practice your knowledge. <clears throat> it's the source of the all. The cycle below is not truly below, but only a different in time and space. Different kind of dimension, or just to try to explain it like that. The consciousness there is working and testing lesser things. It doesn't mean we have to be freaking, like, you know, mad about it. Like at them, or anything. You know, because they're testing other things but it all affects everything the lower the higher it affects everything and those ye are and know testing lesser things than those ye are and know just as ye are working on greater so above ye are those who are also working as ye are on yet other laws Exactly. So there are beings that are quite high. There are beings that are quite low. That's just how it is, folks. All are to hopefully balance out in the long run. That is the inevitable end or beginning. <clears throat> the difference that exists between the cycles is only in ability to work with the law. Those beings... Um, have the wisdom and have practiced enough to be in this cycle. We who have being in cycles beyond thee. Are those who first came forth from the source. Like the beginning, the... Man, it's like so... It's capitalized other than the source from before. <clears throat> and have in the passage through time space gained ability to use laws of the greater that are far beyond the conception of man. Nothing there is that is really below thee, but only a different operation of law. So he kind of repeats himself, and most of the time he doesn't really repeat himself in that way. Some could argue, you know, like, oh, a blight of night, night, but that. He doesn't normally do that, so it's kind of interesting. Um, there must be a reason for it. And I originally thought this was going to go pretty fast because it's just overdoing what we already did, but it's like I just see lots of interesting material for discussion. I think planes are like planes of law, dimensions of law, source of law. We who have been first have in two years. But the law are those who first have in the passage to use laws of man only, or no, nope, that doesn't make sense. Okay. We who have seen if there was any signs, I was doing like the shadow thing, I was just reading the words in the between. We are those who first came forth from the source. And we have. the passage through time space gained ability to use laws of greater that are far beyond the conception of man. They have practiced and became wise sooner and when you do that you can ascend to a higher level basically. And we're not going to be able to conceive of it unless we actually do the you know, get wiser. We'll get wise now, folks. Why not start now?
Oh, maybe it's maybe you want to have family instead. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Rhyme says and abilities. Far beyond nothing there. Nothing there is that is really below thee, but only a difference of different operation of law. Work with the law. The laws before that are not capitalized. So <clears throat> No, I didn't put it upside down. No, I don't know. Okay. They are far beyond the conception. Look thee above and look thee below. Okay, I guess I'm reading. So, look thee above or look thee below. The same shall ye find, for all is but part of the oneness that is at the source of the law. The consciousness below thee is part of thine own, as we are. A part of thine. So look the above, look the below, the same shall ye find. Yes. I'm getting that as above, so below. For all is but part of the oneness that is the source of the law. That is at the source of the law. Oneness that it is at the source of the law. Well, the consciousness below thee is part of thine own, as we are a part of thine. Yeah, we're, we're a part of the ones above and below, people. Okay. For all is the power of the oneness. Gotta figure out source. I know source is kind of like beginning or the law of the consciousness below these. Yeah, ye as a child had not the knowledge that came to ye when ye became a man. Compare ye at the cycles to man in his journey from birth unto death, and see in the cycle below thee the child with the knowledge he has. <coughs> no. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Ye, as a child, who had knowledge that came to ye when ye became a man, compare ye the cycles to man in his journey from birth unto death, and see in the cycle below thee <clears throat> the child with the knowledge he has, and see ye yourself as a child grown older, advancing in knowledge as time passes on. See ye, we also, as the child grown to manhood, with the knowledge and wisdom that came with the years. So also, O Toth, are the cycles of consciousness, children in different stages of growth, yet all from the one source, the wisdom, and all to the wisdom returning again. Ceased thee he from speaking, and sat in the silence that comes to the Lord's, then again spake he unto me, saying, O Toth, long have we sat in Omante, guarding the flame of life in the halls. Yet know we are still part of our cycles, with our vision reaching out to them beyond and beyond. A know we that of all nothing else matters excepting the growth we can gain with our soul. No, we the flesh is fleeting. The things men count great are nothing to us. The things we seek are not of the body, but are, are only the perfected state of the soul. When ye as men can learn that nothing but progress of soul can count in the end, then truly ye are free from 
all bondage, free to work in the harmony of law. <sighs> now, that's one of my favorite lines. Let's see if I can remember it without looking. Um, we seek not something, something. Um, we seek the perfected state of the soul. Does that make sense? Perfected state of the soul. The things we seek are not of the body, but are only the perfected state of the soul. When he as man can learn that nothing but progress of the soul can count in the end, then truly ye are free from all bondage, free to work in the harmony, in a harmony of the law. Of, oh, I can't, man. I compare the cycles. Okay, I'm gonna start from the beginning. Sorry, so ye as a child had not the knowledge that came to ye when ye became a man. Yeah, we yeah, he's just saying that for compare ye the cycles to man and his journey from birth unto death. Yeah, cycles, like, you know, just different parts of, you know, yeah, your learning process in your, uh, your life. And see in the cycle below thee, the child with the knowledge he has, and see your, ye yourself as a ch the child grown older, advancing in knowledge as time passes on. See ye we also as the child grown to manhood with the knowledge and wisdom that came with the years. So also, O Toth, are the cycles of consciousness, children in different stages of growth, yet all from the one source, the wisdom, and all to the wisdom returning again. Wisdom and all to the wisdom returning again. Once the one source, the wisdom. Oh, that we're all connected with, with all the wisdom and all to the wisdom returning again. <laughs> 